Wir alle kennen die Bilder flüchtender Menschen aus den Medien. Wir wollten uns ein eigenes machen und vor Ort helfen. Mit sieben Freunden fahren wir deshalb nach Slavonski Brod, einem Flüchtlingslager in Kroatien. We have, I think, eight packages or eight boxes of jackets for girls and boys. It's still not enough, like we should do another stop and make some shopping, I think, but that's all we could arrange for now. Who's here? Um, there is Marusha from Belgium, there is Laurent from Luxembourg, there is Vivian, who's half French and half German, and there is me, and there is Tristan, yourself, and uh, Lotte, and we will be joined by Martina in Budapest. 13 Stunden später kommen wir an. We are unpacking the jackets we brought from Berlin and we're putting them in the storage where they will be organized and when they are needed they will be brought to the camp. I still wonder how they managed to organize all this like this huge space here, just a small organization. So Laurent and I and everybody are on the way to the refugee camp. Wow, look at all the police officers, Jesus Christ. Slavonski is a it's a transit camp. They come by train, arrive in Croatia, and they do accreditation, and then they get into that big tent where they are given with food, clothes, tons of clothes arriving every day and being sorted by volunteers. It takes approximately an hour or two, and then they take the train again and go to Slovenia. We are speaking about relocation, about 160,000 people. Yeah. All of them are coming from the Greece. From the Greece, they are passing through Serbia. Then with railway, we are going, and here is our transit center. With train, they are going to Dobova. Here is Slovenia. And after that, they are going to Austria. When you see a country, for example, like the UK, mm -hmm. creating huge fences around Calais, around the entrance to the Euro tunnel, I mean, what? You are moving the problem for your country in another country, in European Union. If anyone thinks so, you know, that it's better, you know, to build this fence here and here and that uh, this will stop the migrants. It's a crazy idea. We decided that we go to Serbia today. Apparently there we would have a little bit more access to talk to people and ask them that what they've been through and what they're going to expect. But it's only a one and a half hour drive, so it's, it's good, it's manageable. Vier Stunden später, im Lager von Schied, treffen wir Abdul Latif, einen Syrer, der gemeinsam mit seiner Frau und seinem Baby auf der Flucht ist. Mainly I was in UAE, in people working in oil field companies. They kicked them out for no reason. Only fire in Syrian people. Okay, he said, you, are, uh, you have to leave tomorrow. I said, why? He said, I cannot tell you. And he canceled it already in the system. And he canceled my baby visa and my wife visa. My wife is staying with me and she's a teacher. Imagine like 10 years, finish within 24 hours. I really appreciate here uh, this uh, Europe countries. Wir fahren weiter zu einer entlegenen Autobahnraststätte, wenige Kilometer entfernt. Dort halten die Busse von der mazedonischen Grenze. I'm in this tent at one of the refugee stops and uh, lots of people behind me and there's uh, the people have been giving crayons and paper and they've been making lots of, uh, they've been giving them to the children and the children are doing lots of these little, um, little drawings that have gone up all over. Immigrants flag! And some of them have things like, um, like images of war and kind of scary, oppressive guns and bullets and dead bodies and stuff, but generally the mood in here is really cool. And uh, everyone's smiling and everyone wants to be on the camera. Uh, I'm sure they've been here for hours and hours, but there's food and drinks and it's kind of warm, people serving soup, but there's lots of children. Um, and everyone's really enjoying being on the camera. My friend says from all the Afghan immigrants, uh, we're Say we want to say thank you because you are all cares about us. How much have you had to spend to get here? Three thousand dollars. <laughs> What's been the most difficult part? Uh, passing from the sea between Turkey and Greece. The human trafficker bring uh, 70 people and we just stand in our boat and we just uh, trust in God because he can do anything and he bring us here. 
let's try to be a bit more open-hearted. Um, uh, we can take care of them. Uh, they are not danger. Statistics suggest that in how many million refugees and migrants only one was kind of linked with this flow and then the media blew, blew up. No, they are not terrorists. They are nice people. They are the same people as you and I. They want happiness. They want to take care of their families and they themselves don't agree with this radical and fundamental interpretation of Islam. That's why they fled. Nach vier Tagen im Dauereinsatz, zwölf angekommenen Zügen und 30 Tag- und Nachtschichten im Flüchtlingszelt sind wir erschöpft auf dem Weg nach Hause. Vielen tausend Menschen konnten wir bei der Kleiderausgabe in die Augen sehen und Fragen stellen. Die oft genannte Flüchtlingskrise hat ihre Anonymität verloren. Für uns hat sie ab jetzt viele Gesichter.